we are going to go through the content uh, of this exam, which is going to be in person. And uh, you see the dates I took it from your schedule. Uh, the schedule, uh, as I was informed, you have version six now that was emailed to you by Matt. So take a look at that. But the date should be the same. Uh, it's Monday 418 and Thursday 421. Right. Uh, and it's in person. The days are listed and the time frames are as follows, right? 6.30 p.m that we usually have our lecture or 10 a.m. that we usually do our problem sets. So if you are scheduled, let's say, you know, to come in on Monday at 6.30, come in on Monday. If you're scheduled for Thursday, come in Thursday. You're going to get two hours, right? Two hours for the test. Uh, it's going to be uh, in person. You're going to get a Scantron, right? A paper, and pencil, and all that. Um, you're going to get two hours. I'll tell you the results. Uh, the moment you submit it, I'll tell you the results, what you got. No, it's not going to be any like ambiguity or confusion. You are more than welcome to ask me any questions during the test. Uh, it's not going to be open book. It's not going to be open group, right? So it's a, you know, personal exam that you're taking. Um, what else? Um, try to be on time. So we're going to start the exam right on time as I usually do for that. If you, come in excessively late, uh, you know, unless, you know, there was like a train delay that, you know, the MTA posted or there was like some, some major incident, right? The time frame you're going to get is at the time you come. So if you come in, let's say 7 p.m. on a Monday and there is no accident, there's no train, you just, you know, came late, you're going to get hour and a half. So please come on time. So you get two hours for the test. It's going to be 100 questions, multiple choice. There's no essay. There's no short answer. Uh, none of that, right? So these are the, the dates, right? Any questions about the dates, the time frame, and uh, the hours? Hopefully that's clear, right? Uh, the, in terms of the content here, I have like the breakdown of the topics, the questions, and how many points each topic is worth. If you note, right, I start the the questions from the lectures we actually done in class so there's anything you've done prior to me right uh with mike uh there's not going to be anything there uh for that so as i said the the topics that are going to be included on this exam is all the lectures that we covered in class or, or i should say on zoom and all the problem sets we covered uh, with accompanying lectures so as you see right a respiratory system is going to be 10 questions uh, 10 points, right? 100 questions, 10, uh, one point per question. Uh, skin, muscle, and skeletal system is going to be 20 questions. It was an extensive chapter, right? So there's going to be 20 questions. The nervous system is 10 questions. GI is 10 questions. Cardiovascular is 20 questions. Um, just because it's, it was a long chapter, I explained a lot of material there. And also it's one of the fundamental uh, topics in the for the paramedics, right? That for you guys to know, you're dealing with a lot of um, cardiovascular emergency. So more questions for that one. Uh, immune and lymphatic system, 10 questions. Endocrine system, 10 questions. And renal, we just finished, um, I think two weeks ago, right? 10 questions. The videos for that lecture and the problem sets were all posted and I emailed those out. So take a look if you have not done so already. Um, so listen to the lectures, do the problem sets. Uh, how would I, if I was preparing for this exam, uh, what I would do is I would download all the problem sets in the PDF format that, you know, I've been sending out and try to answer them without looking up the answers first. So answer them to the knowledge base you got. And then, right, verify with the um, videos when we go through it, what were the correct choices. So the ones you miss... Uh, either listen to the video, the explanations I give. If, for example, we did not go through that question particularly, try to look it up in the book. You could always Google that question. Uh, you could, you know, ask me, um, and uh, you could email me if I guess if you cannot really find the answer for that. You, I would also advise you, right, if you are uh, studying together with groups, right, or you have a chat group, you know, talk to each other. Maybe let's say I'm, you know, I'm looking this up. I'm not sure, but someone else in your group. Uh, may be able to answer your question, right? And you could study together and go through the problem sets together. 
right? Maybe one of you may not know the answer, but someone else in the group may know the answer. So that will be a good benefit for you to do that. So I would go through all the problem sets, find the answers, right? Look up the ones I, I missed. And then that would be a good, um, I would say, preparation for this. Was there a question? No question? Heard someone ask something. Uh, in terms of uh, the points, right, I already wrote it down, right? 100 questions, 100 points. So this is the blueprint of the exam, right? And uh, to make it very clear, uh, so you guys are not confused, whenever you start the respiratory system, it will, on before the, the 10 questions, it will say the respiratory system, and then the questions will follow. Once you finish the respiratory system, it's going to say skin, muscle, and bone, right? Uh, and it's going to say, you know, the, the questions. Then it's going to say the nervous system, GI, and so forth. So before the questions start, there is, you know, it tells you what system we're covering. They are not randomly assigned. Like, they're not random questions. They are going to go in, in the same specific uh, format. So it's going to, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, same format I'm showing you here. That's how it's going to be on the final. Right? Uh, Angel, you got a question? No? All right. Uh, I'm sorry, no question. Okay, no problem. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome. So I think, I mean, we're going to go, now we're going to go through the actual topics. I, I will try to cover all eight by Thursday. I can tell you now that we're not going to finish it all today just because uh, of the amount of chapters we have. Uh, and if I, like I said, if I was preparing for this, I would do the problem sets. That would be the ideal way of doing this. Um, any questions about this, about the time frames, how many questions, how many points, what to study? I will post these slides after this lecture, so you'll have this. So, Nick, you think that by going over every problem set from each of these sections, that would be a good way to, to start? Yeah, I would say, I mean, I hope you've been already doing that, meaning like you've been doing those problem sets as we were going through the chapters. But let's just say, you know, you have not, right? I would say if I uh, was going to study for this and you have some time, right, because it's um, the 18th and the 21st, I would definitely download all the problem sets, right, and go through it. And then for the ones I miss, right, I definitely want to look up the, the rationale why this was the correct choice in the book or Google the answer or ask your classmates. So focus on the, focus on the ones you miss. Um, and yeah, that would be a good preparation for this because your exam is going to be based on multiple choice um, questions. And to be honest with you, you can, there's no way if you haven't been looking through the book and reading the book, there's no way you're going to read all these chapters by, you know, by, by Monday, the 18th or the Thursday, the, the 21st. So the problem sets will be the ideal way to prepare. So I'm going to now start with the actual chapters, unless there's any pressing questions you guys have, or it's clear. If it's clear, we're going to go forward. <clears throat> 